Pastor Luther, and this is To Start Your Day. Our Bible reading for today comes to us from the book of Romans, reading from the ninth chapter, beginning with the sixth verse. I'm going to read Romans chapter 9, verses 6 through 13. Don't suppose for a moment, though, that God's word has malfunctioned in some way or another. The problem goes back a long way. From the outset, not all Israelites of the flesh were Israelites of the Spirit. It wasn't Abraham's sperm that gave identity here, but God's promise. Remember how it was put? Your family will be defined by Isaac. That means that Israelite identity was never racially determined by sexual transmission, but it was God determined by promise. Remember that promise? When I come back next year at this time, Sarah will have a son. And that's not the only time. To Rebecca also, a promise was made that took priority over genetics. When she became pregnant by our one-of-a-kind ancestor Isaac, and her babies were still innocent in the womb, incapable of good or bad, she received a special assurance from God. What God did in this case made it perfectly plain that his purpose is not a hit, and miss, hit or miss thing, dependent on, upon what we do or don't do, but a sure thing determined by his decision, flowing steadily from his initiative. God told Rebecca, the firstborn of your twin twins will take second place. Later, that was turned into a stark epigram. I loved Jacob. I hated Esau. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for another night of rest and another day of promise. We ask that you bless us with strength and encouragement and faith so that we might go out into the world and be the people you'd have us be, your hands and feet in the world. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.